Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan from Green Tech Network. Some customers have been having issues on assembling the Raspberry Pi cases that I sell. So I decided to put together this quick tutorial to show you how to assemble them once you've purchased them. You want to orient everything you see in this video the exact same way. So you want to have your Raspberry Pi with the USB and Ethernet ports towards the back end and the side with the power port towards the front. And then you're going to want to orient all these sides like the same exact way you see here. So basically you kind of want to imagine folding the sides up. So this kind of folds up here, this kind of folds up here, etc. The side that most people have issues with is the side with the HDMI port and I think it's because there's only one port on that side so it's kind of hard to tell which way it goes. But you want to have the notches, so there's a notch here and a notch here. You want to have them towards the end where there's a USB port and the Ethernet port. So to start off I recommend using this side first, which is the side with the USB and Ethernet port, because the USB is a little bit of a tight fit, so you have to wiggle it on. So basically, you just grab this and just go like this, and then just, it kind of wiggles right on like that. Now, the next side I recommend doing is the HDMI side, and as you can see, these have like little springy, plasticky pieces and like hooks. So you just want to fit this top hook into the top portion of the side here. So you just fit that right in like that. It's kind of hard to see on the camera because it's clear. And then it snaps in. So you can see that the side like correctly matches the HDMI port and everything. And then, so it's just like, it looks kind of like that now. And now you want to do this side. And we're doing the same kind of thing where we just kind of fold it up and keep it in the same orientation. And I'm just going to hold it like this. And the same thing, the top piece kind of hooks in there. And the bottom piece clicks in. So now you can see we have that side on assembled and everything. Now, don't do this piece yet because if you do that, then you won't be able to get the top and bottom in. So I start. I recommend starting with the bottom piece, and I'm pretty sure the bottom piece is interchangeable because it's the same on either side. So what you do is you can just flip this over, and the ha it has like these little tabs, and these fit into the holes in the side pieces. So you just pop the tab right in there. And then that one just goes in right like that. So now you have the bottom and three of the sides on. You also want to put the top on now. And we finish, we finish up with this piece, so don't do that one yet. And this one, you're going to want to flip around. I actually had that oriented the wrong way over there. But you want to flip it around so the ports on the Raspberry Pi match up with the slots on here. So you can see the... Actually, let me zoom in a little. You can see the... Um, GP IO pins match up with the port or the slot on the top and the two extra like, expansion slot things on the Raspberry Pi also match up with these slots on the top and for this I'll zoom out a little again you basically want to fit there's on the side of this there's two little tabs like right here and you want to fit these there's holes on either side of the case you want to fit them into the either side of the holes and then that kind of just swings down on there. And the very last piece is the this piece right here that I said to save for last. So you want to do the same kind of thing we did with the other side piece and you just fit it right on top on the hooks and then it just snaps right down like that. So that's how to fully assemble the cases that I sell. This tutorial can also be applied to the cases that I sell with like the little Raspberry Pi logo instead of the circle. But this is the one with the circle. I figured I'd do that one just because it's I had it out and it was easier to film. So basically when you're putting it together just as long as you orient the pieces in the correct orientation I had in the beginning of the video and follow the steps you should easily be able to assemble it yourself. Um, if you have any questions about how to assemble it please message me first before you leave any type of negative or neutral feedback because I like to keep positive feedback on my eBay profile. So like I said if you have any questions on how to assemble it or you're having issues or anything like that, just please message me before you do anything with the feedback. Thanks for watching.